Hello colleagues, um, today we'll be talking about basics of placement of beacon of beacons uh, for starter set hardware version 4.9. Uh, the basics are applicable to majority of other big uh, starter sets and uh, overall systems, but I will be talking about uh, the placement and basics of the placement on the example of this because this is probably the most popular one, uh, the, the most popular starter set that has been available for more than four years or something. Um, so what would you have in starter, inside of starter set? You have the station and beacons. In case of this one, you have four station and beacons. You have one mobile beacon. In fact, they're absolutely the same. So you can use any of them as station beacon or as mobile beacon. Um, there's another starter set, used to be at least with IMU inside, then it's not the same. At least IMU, not, not in, uh, installed on all of this. But depending on the basic uh, starter set hardware version 4.9, all of them are interchangeable. So it does mean that you have four station beacons and one mobile. Any of them can be mobile. And of course you have the modem. Modem is the central controller of the system, the most important element. Um, I will not talk about uh, basics like software update, default. Uh, please check other videos uh, where we are describing what to do. And of course, the operating manual. Operating manual is your manual, follow it. All the videos is just, you know, visual examples of what to do. It, it, it is not a replacement for the manual where everything is more detailed and everything is more step by step. Video is rather to highlight some, some things based on the questions that we are receiving from our existing customers, the questions that we believe may be uh, uh, raised during your installation. So you have four station beacons, one mobile beacon and one modem. Uh, there is a placement manual on our downloads page, please use it because it's describing more or less the same, uh, but you know, in PDF format. So we suggest you use their medium sized room, four by four, or say six by six, 10 by 10 meters, so similar. And you stole beacons inside the room on the walls, where and how. And this is what video is about. Uh, if we look at the room, so this is your floor. So we suggest that you install the beacons somewhere on, let's say, two meters height. Why so? Well, for example, you will be using uh, the mobile beacon and you will be working around. So this is you, or let's say me, with the mobile beacon inside. So uh, it means that in order to provide uh, the direct line of sight, the mobile beacons is preferred to be above you and facing down or facing like this. And the mobile beacon, oh, sorry, it was about station beacons. And the mobile beacon must be facing up. So it means that there will be always a direct line of sight between the station beacons and the mobile beacons with no obstruction. Um, what to remember? Beacons uh, hardware version 4.9, they have five ultrasonic uh, sensors or transducers. It means that uh, when you install uh, the beacon, by default, all of them are enabled, which gives, uh, gives their, the beacon their widest coverage, but the least uh, sensitivity. For 10 by 10 meters or even 15 by 15 meters, that's enough. But if we are talking about 30 by 30 meters, the sensitivity with all uh, uh, transducers enabled will be not sufficient. So it means that you must disable some of them in order to reach uh, the 30 meters distance. But let's talk about default 10 by 10 meters, for example. Uh, and for instance, uh, you install the beacons like this. Obviously, your mobile beacon may not go in this area because you're just working. So we recommend to disable their, uh, uh, their, the sensor which is facing up because you don't need it. It will collect additional noise it will reduce the sensitivity because it will load other uh, sensors. So disable it. Uh, in case of these beacons, the same story. So this sensor is facing up, just disable it. How to disable? Uh, there's a table in each uh, uh, beacon. So you can choose the beacon and you can see the table. So enable RX1, RX2, 
and you can see there are letters here uh, near to each of the uh, sensors. So enable only those that you need. By default, all of them are enabled. That's fine for small room uh, or let's say easy settings like quiet room, no external noise, nothing like this. So default is safe choice. But when you go a bit uh, further or you have more complex environment or you have noise or you have larger distance or something, you must do this in order to achieve the largest performance. So disable. So this will be activated. This will be activated, for example. Uh, this will be activated, activated. And number five, which is facing up, will be not activated. You don't need it. Um, if you, uh, for example, use very long distance, you may be able to, uh, and you have pretty narrow angle. So you may not need at least, uh, I mean, all, all of them. You may need only one sensor, which is RX4. If you uh, install the beacon like this. So each of the sensor, they have around 90 degrees uh, beam. Of course, it, it can uh, hear the signal coming from this, but it will be more attenuated. So this is why we have five of them. So four horizontal and one vertical is so all together combined, they have uh, a hemisphere covered. So it means that if you have a narrow uh, beam and sufficient, so it's, it's enough if you enable only RX4, turn the beacon this direction, and in this case it will cover the, uh, the sector, which will give you the highest sensitivity and the least noise will be uh, collected from this direction. So uh, in order to, 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 to reach the highest performance, enable only those sensors which are needed. It's, it's about um, sensitivity, collecting of unnecessarily noise. Uh, but let me repeat about the most important element and the only real, real requirement. At any point where you want tracking, their mobile beacon must see three or more stationary beacons with direct line of sight. This is the most requirement. It's like your satellite, GPS satellites. If you don't see them, there is no tracking. Not less precise tracking, there will be no tracking. In the worst case, when it's kind of semi uh, abstracted, or let's say visibility is slightly obscured, you may have uh, a very bad tracking. So it means that you must provide the direct line of sight between your mobile beacon and between station beacons. This is the main requirement. Um, that's it about the basic placements. Uh, more details you can find in our placement manual, which is on the download page. If something is unclear, we have some special case, or you want uh, us to update or let's say uh, deepen the information inside the placement manual, tell us to info at myomind.com and we'll be uh, happy to help you. Thank you very much.